Oh, hi there. So I've uh, been digging around in my project box, ripping things apart. This is a um, motion sensor that I ripped apart, um, testing all little gizmos and inputs and outputs, because um, the basic outline of how I want our barbecue hackathon thing to go is um, I want to start everyone out with picking a input and an output, and this is a tentative list of my inputs and outputs. We have, let's focus up here, we have light sensors, IR detectors, microphones, thermistors, um, GPS, motion detectors, accelerometers, pressure sensors, magnetometers, ultrasonic distance finders, gyroscopes, potentiometers, joysticks, buttons, LCD touchscreens, and ethernet shields. I'm probably going to come across some more. Uh, outputs are going to be LEDs, infrared LEDs, speakers, buzzers, uh, they're slightly different. Um, vibration motors, steppers, servos, relays, solenoids, electromagnets, muscle wire, maybe, I'm not sure about that. L-wire, uh, L-pads, LCD, 7-segment displays, fans, uh, LCD touchscreens, and Ethernet. And um, some of these are going to be added and removed from, you know, as I kind of play with them, whatever. But in doing that, um, I started digging through my old electronics, and I found this fun guy. Uh, this is the SparkFun Voice Shield box. Um... It's basically a box that you can send phonetic sounds to, and it will say them. Kind of annoying because you have to predetermine what those sounds are going to be using a dictionary. Like, I can't send just a string to it and have it figured out. I have to send, like, ah, uh, ooh, teach, like, kind of mouth sounds to it, which is annoying. But, um, funny story about this was when I first got it, it did not come with that little chip on the left-hand side. Uh, well, it came with it, but it wasn't soldered on. Um, I had no idea it was even for that. Uh, when I b first bought this, I kind of bought a bunch of Arduino stuff, and um, I think I, th I just thought it came free with it. I, I had no idea what it was for. I was a super novice when I got this. This is like when I first, first started touching electronics. Um, in downloading the code for it today, the example code, because I wanted to test it, I found that that is a serial to TTY chip. It generates the phonetic sounds for you. Why they didn't just solder this onto the board? No idea. But basically, I did. And Dustin may hate my solder skills, but um, I was kind of impressed. I was able to solder to a surface mount without you know messing everything up. That's kind of cool. Real, real tiny. I've got a soldering iron with um, a super, super fine tip. This is, I don't know if we're going to be able to focus on this. No. Anyway. So, there it is. And, um, got it working now, so I don't have to send it all these annoying phonetic sounds. I can just say, uh, hello, this is... Let me spell it right. This is a test. So I'm just uh, typing that up there. This is uh, just a straight serial port. I can send this from Bluetooth, serial, anything that talks serial can connect to this. And I'm um, pointing it over here just so you can hear it. Not bad. Pretty robotic. But, you know, that's what you expect. Um, yeah, so that's it. I, I just thought it was kind of funny that... <laughs> came with the chip to do that cool functionality, but I was too much of an idiot at the time to know uh, how, to, how to use it. Also, they, they really didn't go, do a good job of um, marketing this. The top two pins on the chip don't even fit in the prototype board. You have to bend them out. I don't get it. But whatever. There it is. Okay, bye.